hello guys welcome to solving solutions your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems it's nice having you in class again today how have you been we are going to show you how to convert um, vector data to raster data it's been called um, rasterize right good so we want to show you how you can convert your shape file to a word to a raster data. So the first thing now is that uh, we need to bring in the shape file we want to use on this video, right? So you know the drill, you go to layer, you go to what add layer, then you go to what add vector layer, right? Good. So we are actually working on a um, training data we used them um, some time ago. So we just um, selected the we selected the file and we what add and then close. Good. So we have imported the what the vector data we want to convert to what to um, to raster, right? Good. Now the next thing is that you come to either the processing toolbox or you go to raster. You come down to selection and then you click what rasterize, right? Now let's look at how we can get it from the processing toolbox. So you come to rasterize, let's see, you type rasterize. So we have what rasterize, which um, converts vector to, what, to raster. So you don't click on that. Then under the rasterize window, you have the parameters and the log, actually how it's been processed. So your input layer is actually what the vector layer we already have on our layer panel, the right. Then the field to use for bond is actually optional. Let's just see if we can use a population. Then a fixed value to bond, we have a um, output raster size unit. Let's use either pixels or georeference unit, but let's um, use the georeference unit. Then the width, that's the vertical, sorry, the horizontal resolution. These are you set here. These are you set the resolution of the output um, image want to get you know you can decide to use pixels because actually picture elements since uh, we are talking about pictures but we just um, want to use what the did you reference in so you can just um, check the output of the boot um, the, the, the boot raster size unit right good because um, pixels are actually picture elements right good. So, but we want to use the reference unit. then let's uh, make this um, 100 right Let's make this 100 because the higher this value, the higher the resolution of the output, um, the output file we want to have, right? The higher the resolution, and we don't want something too blurry. Then the output extent, we want it to cover the input extent. So you click on this, the output extent, then you now go to calculate from layer, then you still select what's the input, right? Good. Then um, this is still optional, assign a specific no data value to output then you now come down to the output itself that's the rasterized data now if you just click on this you will see save to a temporary file or save to a file one of the downside of this save to temporary file is that immediately you close your project you might not assess that uh, rasterized yeah that rasterized data again so you need to save to a file right good which means if you're working on a folder, you just save it to that folder, right? Good. So you can see we are working on a vector to raster, right? So let's just call this, um, let's call this test. Good. So, and the file type is a um, TIFF, which is actually an image, um, an image format, right? So we now click on save. So I think we've set up all the parameters. If there is anything, the you have to be notified. Click on run. So it's been um, processed and it has started as you can see. Good. So the loading results, the loading results in layer finished. So we can just, uh, we can already see that we have a um, vector, sorry, raster data on our layer panel. So we can just close. So now for the vector data we have imported, this is the corresponding word raster data however we still have to do some modifications on the color ramp right like um, the band it, this is just um, a single band that we just have created so we just double click on it 
then on that simple logic instead of the single band create we just um, go to single band single color then we can see now there is one one thing we need to let you know depending on the raster sorry the vector data you're using sometimes your minimum and your maximum values might give you like some challenges if maybe okay that also depends here yeah, depending on the raster data the vector data you're using sorry for those mix up depend on the vector data you're using so if the graduation of colors of that vector data is almost the same then you might just be having from i think you might just be having the, the two values to be the same or just moving yeah the two values to be the same and that will just make your, your values just one yeah because we had them um, similar issues and we just need to let you know that at some point you might not have the minimum and the maximum values to be this different to be a range right Good. so let's come down to the calling server then the color ramp is still fair it will just be going from this um, graduation up to what up to this point and then I think we don't need to do much here again. Let's just leave it at the band rendering, right? Good. So we just um, classify it done. Okay, we just um, apply and we see what's okay. Good. So for this um, particular vector data, good, I got it right. For this particular vector data now, this is the corresponding what, um, raster data and actually shown you how you can rasterize yes how you can rasterize and the vector data given the or imputing the different parameters for for the process so if you have any question you have any suggestion you can always um, get back to us either you leave it on the comment section or you contact us with any of our contact details on the channel you can also support us by maybe getting us a coffee, subscribing to the channel, sharing these videos with your friends, and you know, always um, encouraging them to check back. So we believe we've provided solution to this particular solving GIS remote sensing problem, and we hope to see you on the next one. Until then, keep being good at what you're doing and have the best of time. Bye.